It's an important principle to understand that pricing is a process. It's not really a singular event. So how you structured your pricing when you first open your program is going to change over time, especially as your program improves, frankly, your marketing and sales systems improve, and you learn a little bit more about where the value in your program actually comes from. Little hint there, it's not from what you actually teach. It's from the transformation that you create in the lives of the people who come through your studio. As the CEO of your business, one of your primary really three jobs as the CEO of the studio is to consistently be looking for finding ways to increase what we call your average student value. The average student value here, what I mean is the amount of money that a newer student would be paying into your studio on average over the first 12 months of enrollment or however long they generally stay in that year, stay enrolled in that first year. Now, this isn't just about raising your tuition rates on those students or um, nickel and diming them somehow. There's lots of ways that we increase the average student value. Now, of course, increasing tuition rates is one of them, but asking students to make longer term commitments is a retention piece that also has an impact on your average student value. Retaining a higher number of your students throughout the summer or getting them upgraded into higher level or um, um, more committed classes is another way. So there's several strategies that we'll implement to increase that average student value. But let's talk for a minute about the pricing thing. Pricing is a process. When is it that we should be raising our tuition rates? Well, I find a lot of bad advice online from people who generally are well-meaning but aren't actually running successful studios themselves. A lot of times what they're recommending, uh, you may see this advice sometimes, is that you should raise your tuition every single summer by 4% so that you can outrun uh, the inflation uh, in the economy. Uh, that's bad advice for a number of reasons, uh, not the least of which is that I'm not in business just to outrun inflation. That's a strategy for breaking even over time as opposed to running a profit studio or having an asset that someday I may want to sell to somebody else. So what is it that we do? Well, in the last little pricing uh, um, video that I made, if you watched that one, uh, we talked a little bit about one of the uh, metrics you should be measuring that's the most important one as we're figuring out where to set our tuition rates, and that is the conversion rate from students that come in for, or prospective students that come in for a uh, an intro class of some kind into an ongoing program. So let's say over a month I have 30 students come in to an open house or a paid intro class. What percentage of those students am I actually enrolling into an ongoing program? Well, as that number gets high enough, uh, that's the indication that we have that it's time to raise your tuition <clears throat> on that group of students. That doesn't mean you go raise your tuition on all the students you've already made a commitment to at a different level, but on the new students coming in, that's how we know that we raise the tuition rate on them. And we do it when you hit that specific statistic, not when we wait for some kind of specific time of year. Now, a lot of studios are having a hard time implementing that for a couple of reasons. And one of those reasons is that the software programs generally developed to run dance studios and to build tuition aren't set up in a way uh, that makes it easy to do that kind of thing. That's part of why we've developed the software that we've developed, because it helps us to um, optimize the tuition rates that we're charging, and we think that's an important piece. The other thing here is seems a little bit counterintuitive, but maybe you've experienced this already in the past. A lot of the studios that implement their tuition raises following the strategies that we teach uh, find that when they increase their tuition on those new students coming in the door, the conversion rate actually goes up instead of down. Remember those 30 students we had coming in for intro programs? That means that a higher percentage of those are actually going to say yes to an ongoing paid program um, if you raise the tuition rates following the right the right strategies. And those strategies always include finding a way to educate the people on where the value of your program actually comes from. Sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but it's a very, very common thing. Uh, once again, when you should raise your tuition has less to do with the time of year and more to do with tracking the enrollment rates off of intro programs.